this whole trend of vulnerability kind of like becoming okay to talk about like the struggles. Um, in my opinion, vulnerability is the ultimate form of strength. As a leader, building an organization, especially building an organization of salespeople, which is basically just controlling ego after ego after ego, how have you been able to lead by being vulnerable with your team? You look at a guy like Andy Frisella, who I had on the podcast that, that uh, launched this week, the Breadwinner Podcast, and you see a guy that's got every supercar, every sports car that you could possibly imagine, the Lamborghinis, the Ford GTs, you name it, he's probably got it or has had it in the past. And, and, and you would look at that and a lot of you would say, uh, man, this guy needs to be more humble, right? But it's so funny because it has nothing to do with that. Like he's worked to be able to get that. There's this feeling, especially because you're putting yourself out there. Yeah. It's like there's this feeling like as though like, well, it's gotta be like ego. Or yes. like they're trying to like, they think that they're better than us. Yes. Or they think that they're special. It's like, no, like I, I actually don't think that at all. It's just wanting to put stuff out there to help other people yes. and wanting other people to know that there's regular people out there, like that there's nothing special about me at all. Yes. But man, you know that, who do you think you are? Um, I've come to an interesting realization lately. Um, been really working through it over these last six months in that with ego, those that appear to have the biggest in fact have the least. Because the ability to say, I, I could absolutely care what you think. That, that comes across as, as, as I have the biggest ego. But the reality is what it means is like, I'll do anything for you. I just don't care. Like your opinion just is of no difference to me. Uh, and those that I have found that look from the outside looking in, look to be the just the biggest ego like this guy's just completely full of himself and you get to know the person that's actually the exact opposite so many people you talk about humble beginnings humble beginnings number one if you're talking about being humble on social media you're not because the truly humble people don't have to talk about it right it's kind of that whole hashtag humble brag like hey man i'm a humble guy but blah 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 blah, blah, blah. humble butt humble butt humble butt like I guess you make a rap song called Humble Butt. That girl, she got a humble butt. <laughs> I don't have really any time to waste on the opinions of others that want to talk about who's humble and who's not. The who am I is like, to me, it's like you're, you're an individual with worth and value. It's just waiting to be unleashed on people.